We already know the importance of lighting in our 3D space, but the importance of shadows is practically inseparable from it. And in this part, we're talking about a very specific kind, contact shadows, simulated as ambient occlusion in computer graphics. And it is one of the key factors in making the objects appear more natural and integrated within their environment. Ambient occlusion is the darkening of the interface between the two surfaces because of the less amount of light reaching those crevices. Ambient occlusion comes naturally with cycles. But we can use this ambient occlusion data to enhance the effect and additionally blend the surface of the interfaces together. When you place a model on the ground plane, there's often a sharp, noticeable boundary between the object and the ground, as if the object is abruptly being cut off. And this gives it an unnatural appearance. We've established before that sharp edges do not exist in the real world. So we need to get rid of those. This becomes especially important in the environment scenes, but is generally applicable to all scenes really. Let's say you've placed a building like this. You can see that there is an acute cutoff of the materials of the two surfaces. In order to achieve a smoother darkening and a smoother transition, between the object and the surface, we can utilize the ambient occlusion node. In the shader material of both the building and the ground, you add the ambient occlusion node. By combining it with a color ramp and adjusting the fall off, you can precisely control the areas affected by the interface between the two surfaces. The resultant gradient generated by the ambient occlusion node can then be used as a factor in a mix node blending a darker colour with the base colour of the materials. This technique helps us create that darkening effect coupled with seamless transition between the building and the ground. You can plug in a dust material and a grime texture to achieve another level of realism. The subtle variation in lighting between the interacting objects contribute to the perception of depth, adding visual interest and enhancing the overall realism of the scene is the attention to these small tiny details that truly elevate your renders. This rounds up this chapter. I'll see you in the next one. Farewell.